This is the Sleeper Plus car, room five. Let's check it out. Leave it in. So when you first walk in, the door is magnetized, so we will stay put. First things first, the mirror, the mirror pops out. And when you're ready to take your jacket off, coat closet. And it could be a little storage area. Continuing on, you do have a storage unit next to the coats. Looks like you can put cups. I don't know what you would put in here. What more storage to hang things, it looks like. Below that. If you need more plugs, travel with one of these babies. That way you and your friend, family, or child can plug in. You got a little cubby hole. Trash can, Kleenexes, and make your room up, or please do not disturb my bed. So now we're gonna set the beds up. You gotta pull this lever off to the left. You pull up, bed pops down, number one. Next one, over here too, pull up. This one's a little heavier, so pull slowly. Pull the rail. Now, let's attach this because the ladder is right here. Pop that down. Comes out right here. Might as well clip it back and then they go in the rails right there. Once you move the pillows, it'll go in and makes an angle all the way to the wall. This is how you get up the bed. I'm six foot, about 200 pounds. Hopefully this works. You should though. Uh, and really, <laughs> don't bang your hair. I'm gonna lay this way for a second show you six foot guy or gal you can stretch all the way out when you first walk in you get two waters two chocolates depending on who you're with some pamphlets of the ocean uh, the person next to the window will get a sturdy little table do some work eat some food have a drink enjoy the view you name it let there be light Here's your light switches. Got a lot to choose from all over the place. Really brighten the room up or turn it all off. But we'll leave one on. Your emergency call button for the attendant. If, I don't know. If you fall on the floor, I don't know how you're hitting the button unless you got something with you. Your temperature gauge, it's all in Celsius. Keep that in mind. And then click, click, click. If you need a lock for extra privacy, you're not feeling safe, you're whatever it may be, whoever you are, hit that button right there. Unlock it, flip it up, or if you open it, it'll unlock it. Lastly, lastly, you got a peephole. Now continuing on, you get a shower and a bathroom. It's really not all that bad. Decent room compared to some of other trains have been on little shower head in these bags is the amenities and in the amenities got a towel bar of soap shampoo sink I don't recommend drinking the water Hair dryer. And your knobs to turn water on and off. So another thing about the bathroom is the toilet seats, not that I'm peeing in front of y'all, don't you worry. Both of them come up and they lock. And for you dudes out there, standing up and peeing, 
there's a handle here, left hand or right hand, right on the wall. Last train I was on did not have that. You do have a little storage space behind the mirror, and there's actually a plug. So make sure all those are closed because there's toilet paper storage inside the mirror. You want to push and turn, as it says. Twist it as you like. Make sure it's nice and warm. We gotta keep pushing the button down here to keep it going. You kinda feel like you're bathing with a garden hose. And when the train goes rocking, there is a rail to hold on to. And that was a via rail shower. These towels are actually very, very cozy and soft. I'm kind of surprised by that. I figured it'd be like crunchy and rough. But let's get dressed and enjoy this railroad.